Hi everyone, so for today's Korea vlog we're at E-Mart every day. E-Mart is a supermarket here and E-Mart every day is just a slightly smaller version of this supermarket. They also have convenience stores. So moving on to the first section we have some natto which is fermented soybeans. This is eaten usually with rice or on its own for its probiotic benefits. Here is a selection of tofu and fish cake based products which can either be used to make meals or as snacks. This is a kimbap set which I could probably describe to you as a little bit similar to sushi. And I started to notice that uh, Korean supermarkets are starting to explore vegetarian meat alternatives so as you can see there there were some meatballs and burgers that are plant-based they actually have a very big section for sausages and ham because they can be used in various ways a lot of the ham blocks that you can see here are again used for making kimbap they can be sliced vertically to make a kimbap roll this is the one that I usually buy because it's the most affordable and good value for money. I really like these Vienna sausages. They kind of have a European sausage taste but they can be used for making things like dotboki or putting on skewers for a kind of at home barbecue style snack. These chicken breasts are actually popular for dieting. They're flavoured or they can be plain and they're usually warmed up in the microwave to eat on their own or as part of salads. Now this is the section I probably visit the most. This is the instant dotboki section. If you don't know what dotboki is, it's basically a spicy rice cake dish. It's not cakes, it's savoury. I think it's uh, most similar to gnocchi. They have cheese filled uh, tok, which is rice cakes. And over here we have some cold noodle options. The most popular cold noodle is called nengyeon. And they also have a selection of pasta meals as well, which are good for just couples eating just two portions at a time. They also have uh, bibimyeon as well. Hope I'm pronouncing everything correctly. Please forgive me. Oh, and here is a selection of stews. Some of them include literally the, all of the ingredients required for the stew. So you just heat this up in a pot, whereas some are just the soup base. Now in the freezer section there are quite a few different options including pastries, donuts, some of which are as you can see from brands like Dunkin Donuts and there's some also some doughs that you can use for cooking and baking with children. These are considered as snacks, just uh, pizza slices, corn dogs, small packs of donuts if you don't want to buy a large packet if you just want to have a treat over here we have some more uh, meal kits in the freezer section again these are good for people who perhaps get home late and don't have time to cook a meal from scratch these are various different stews again and we're now moving over to the snack section. Immediately on this wall we have a lot of more healthier snacks or traditional snacks that are made from puffed rice. There was also some children's foods as well or baby food. Here's a selection of iced coffees and Maxim is probably the most well-known instant coffee brand. I actually didn't know they sold Capri Sun in Korea so that was new to me. Now there's the Canu version of Maxim. Not version, it's more like a separate line of coffees, which is supposed to be stronger like espresso. And these are choco pie, which is probably one of the most well-known classic snacks. 
They've been going since the 1970s and there's so many different variations now such as watermelon and banana flavours. Opposite the snack section there is a lot more coffees as you can see, including other brands like French Cafe. And there's Nescafe as well. And Canu, you can actually get uh, coffee capsules now for a machine that they released. It looks a little bit similar to Nespresso. And here there are some instant coffee sachets from Starbucks. You probably have these in your country as well. They look at, oh, they're not instant coffee, sorry, my bad. They are also capsules, but in bigger multi-packs. If you've never tried the Starbucks capsules before, I recommend Columbia. I feel like that has the right amount of bitterness to sweetness, not too strong, but not too mild either. And directly next to the coffee, we have the tea section. I could go into a lot of detail about the teas, but a lot of them are herbal. Uh, used for digestion, stomach ache, headaches and this is tea which kind of looks like jam in a way you melt it into the hot water it's more like a highly concentrated sugary form of tea and this is more so like the uh, world food section as well as some Korean snacks as well so here you'll find Pocky from Japan there's Oreos, Ritz crackers that I actually haven't seen anywhere else. They have cinnamon bun Oreos and red velvet as well. They're really good. See these Ritz crackers, they have chocolate fillings. And there's just more crackers and more plain biscuits as well. Over here, they call it the big deals, which is almost like wholesale sized boxes of food, which are good for so small companies as well as families. They have a selection of snacks that are usually bought often. So to save yourself a bit of money in the long run, it might be a bit more affordable to buy these larger wholesale sized boxes of goodies. These are a selection of rice crackers. They're used for lunch boxes. And now we are in the crisp section, or you would call them chips in America. This is probably the most well-known uh, crisp in Korea. They're based off of uh, like prawn flavoring, flavoring, sorry. And this is my favorite. These are like chili cheese coated peanuts. They're sun chips. They're constantly coming out with new flavours. They even have a garlic bread flavour. But to me it's a little bit sickly because it's sweet salt. And this is a new flavour of the turtle chip. I believe it's some variation of chilli. Here's just some more classic snacks next to the gummy section. These gummies from Orion are my, are my favorite. These ones are lychee flavor. I always stock up on these and take them back home to the UK with me for my family. You might recognize some brands here from Europe such as Trolley Jellies, Haribo. And they also sell naked bars here, which I didn't even know they sold here. And this is kind of like a chocolate cornflake snack. My friend recommended this to me. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm definitely going to go back for it. There's a selection of chocolates. I'm not too keen on Korean chocolate to be honest, but here we have some Kinder from Germany. And a few years back, Korea actually got Milka and Maltesers. There is literally a whole aisle just for ramen. I'm showing you the Bordak Bakumyeon ramen, which is known as the, what is it, fiery chicken 
spicy noodle challenge thing anyway you're going to recognize the packaging but they have so many variations now such as carbonara cheese maritang flavor they also have some black bean noodles and more seafood type ramen as well bibimyeon And they actually have quite a big section in every e-mart for Italian themed foods or Italian inspired foods. The pasta sauces are really nice, especially I really like this roast spaghetti one, which is tomato mixed with fresh cream. Lots of different pasta sauces and seasonings. Lots of different salad dressings as well. And here is different vinegars and soy sauces that are used to base the flavours of different Korean stews and other dishes. As well as gochujang which is a Korean chilli paste. Which is probably the most used ingredient in Korean cooking. Like everyone has this in their house. Here's some instant rice. It's more affordable to buy the rice in larger quantities, but of course there is the option of microwavable rice as well if you're short for time. Here's just a selection of powders that are used to make different sauces, soups again. I like this section in particular because it has a lot of European style soups. Now we're back over to the freezer section and this e-mart actually has a homeware section as well. And as we come towards the end of the store we have dairy. The dairy section isn't as big in Korea as it is in uh, perhaps the US and Europe. Perhaps because dairy is less of or less part of the Korean diet typically. A lot of these products you can also find in single packages in convenience stores, but obviously if you're going to be eating this and eating or drinking these kinds of food often it's more affordable to buy them multi-packs. This is a massive Yakult, which I thought was interesting. Maybe you've never seen that before. There's some um, yogurts. A lot of the brands you might actually recognise because they're imported from Europe, as well as these European cheeses. There's a wine section, and they put a lot of the multi pack snacks near the front of the store to capture customers eyes here they have a lot of drinks including sugar-free drinks that are on offer it's actually quite expensive to buy fruit and vegetables in a supermarket in korea people usually buy them separately at markets I noticed they have to constantly keep um, restocking this section for ice creams because it's really hot and humid in Korea right now. Again, lots more expensive fruits, but some of them are good prices. Are good prices. More ice creams. This is my favourite one, Melona, which tastes like cantaloupe melon. And that's the end of today's vlog. Well, I'm exiting Emart and I went directly to go get coffee. I'm calling this my after grocery shopping coffee. This is an Edia vanilla latte. See you again soon.